looking for a comic book or a new samurai sword. Or maybe you just want to dress up as your favorite fictional character. Comic-Con has it all. Um, I would say Comic-Con is the special place for it. Uh, I'm just actually new into cosplaying, um, so I haven't really had the opportunity to do it elsewhere outside of here. It's considered a safe space for everyone to express their passion and share it with others. And the creativity comes in all shapes and forms. It attracts such a wide demographic of makers and fans, gives them a really big platform to mingle. And it's not just superhero oriented, it's for creative types of all kinds. It gives them an outlet to bring what they're doing personally to the world in an interactable way, especially right now when people tend to be more closed in. It's such a necessity and we've lost it for so long. So it's, I think it's really integral at this point. Live events include stand-up shows. Artists of all kinds are drawn to this convention for the inspiration it offers. It's okay to not be perfect and not be so precious about the work in the beginning because we all started there. Don't let it be like, you know, so much pressure on you, but it's like we're, there's creativity in all of us um, and so let it fly. Many have brought along their passion projects to gain more exposure. Mike White has built Raft in his garage from scratch and is looking to start a business. I'm passing out business cards. I'm trying to get uh, open up opportunity, get jobs off of that. Um, um, I'm actually starting something new um, where you actually have like a robot where you take around for, for parties, events. Um, it could be corporate events, whatever it is. Uh, if you want a robot there to entertain, sing, dance, and that's what he does. He sings, he dances. And Comic-Con's return offers some relief for artists and fans alike. It is Tian Shan, CBTN, Los Angeles.